Hello again and welcome back to Illegally Sighted. This is BGFH. And I'm back here for another Low Vision Spotlight video. And the game I'm going to show you guys today is a little addictive little puzzle game, I suppose you would call it, called Peggle. And basically what it is, is it's a, like I call it a Plinko puzzle game. You remember, um, you remember the game uh, Plinko on The Price is Right where you basically are, you know, you drop the little disc down and you're trying to get the things on the bottom. It's sort of like that except you're trying to basically destroy all the pegs in the stage to win. So, um, we have, when I first started it up, it asked me for my profile name, and then it asked me, uh, it just kind of kicked, booted me right in, um, but I, I just kind of quit the game to start out, I just wanted to make sure that it worked. Um, but basically we have adventure mode, which is like this weird little story with these like unicorns and whatever, which, pff, well, whatever, it's story mode, who cares. Uh, it's just an excuse to go through a bunch of cool little puzzles. You have quick play, um, duel, which I believe that's, I think it's online, but I'm not entirely certain. Let me see if, let's see, duel, do, 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 do. oh, it's locked anyway, okay. Fair enough. Let's just jump right into adventure mode here. Okay, so here's our little instruction. Um, basically, we're just trying to kill as many of these things as we can. Occasionally, we'll get some power-ups. And we'll get some other unique things that we can do throughout the game. So we're starting at the top. You see this little line here. And I'm just going to... It's kind of a game of chance. It just depends on how... You know, it just depends on how well you aim it and where the ball wants to go. And so you have a meter um, that tells you like how many balls you have. And, and then you have a meter um, that gives you like a special ability. And it's been a long time since I've actually played this. So I kind of am, have to remember right along with you guys before I can explain a little bit more myself. Whoa, that got bounced up really high. Okay, nice little bonus there. Okay, I totally did not mean to do it that way, but okay. <laughs> I just accidentally clicked. Well, that was really dumb. Let's go right here. Okay, that's not quite what I wanted to happen. So visually, um, this game isn't too bad overall if you're playing it on a large screen device like the it's on the Xbox and the PS3 and I'm playing it the Steam version on the PC it's not too bad to play they do have portable versions for like the iPhone Android there's one for the DS probably one for the PSP I'm not exactly sure okay that was really bad <laughs> Um, let's bounce it over there. Oh, that was terrible. All right, cool. We saved ourselves. So we got that little thing going back and forth on the bottom. We actually retrieved our ball, so we didn't miss anything. Let's get this lonely one over here. Okay. And you just really want to line it up and think about how it's going to react. So it's going to bounce back up. Yes, and I got all the ones. Basically, you're trying to get those color pegs. And even if you have other ones left over, if you get these other ones, 
um, these, the ones that I just hit, you win. So I'm not going to get a great score on this one, but I love the fact that Ode to Joy plays when you get when you beat this. Like when you beat a level, you always get the Ode to, Ode to Joy theme, which is kind of funny, and I don't know, it just kind of fits for some reason. Looks are like a really simple game, which in, you know, technically it is. I mean, anyone can learn how to, you know, pick up and play it, but... Um, You'd really be surprised at how addictive this is. Originally, when I saw it, I kind of dismissed it going, eh, it's just another casual puzzle game, eh, who cares? I didn't really follow it or pay attention. Well, then when the orange box came out on Steam, you know, the Portal, Half-Life 2, um, all that kind of stuff was in there. And they had a Portal-themed, kind of a, almost like a demo version of the game available and I'm like ah, I got it for free let's try it I played through I believe it was like 10 stages and yeah needless to say I ate my words and I got pretty addictive or pretty addicted so I'm gonna shove it in there let it bounce all the way around yep hit it come on yeah so satisfying. Okay. Let's see. How about if we... Oh, that's not quite. I wanted to hit those top two. Eh, that was sort of a waste. Because I didn't land it in. And if you do, like, especially when it gets to the point where there's not quite as many pegs on the board and you want a clear one, it's really a good idea to try and get, launch it where you think, you know, if you can land it in that little catcher thing on the bottom to save yourself losing a ball. So, let's, hmm, I only got one of them. I was hoping to get all that little three up in the corner up there. Well, that wasn't very good now, was it? Seven left. Um, sure, let's bank it. Oh. Okay. All right. Didn't lose, didn't lose that one. Let's... I wanted you to jump out the other... Oh, that was a frickin' waste. That was horrible. Well... Ugh. Well... Down to five. I was hoping I could get it to roll on that... Those, uh ones on the right over here. Um, can hit that one and let it bounce up, I suppose. Oh, weak. Okay. That was definitely what I did not want to do. Let's... Yeah. Oh. I went about this all wrong. Well. There we go. Bank that off. <sighs> if I can get that one down. Oh, more. man. If I can bounce it so that it'll... You know, hit the one. Is that the only? No, I got ones up there too. Shoot. No, you weren't supposed to. Oh, nice. I was gonna say you weren't supposed to bounce back that way. Okay. Oh man, that's not gonna get them all. Shoot. Oh man, I am so lucky out. 
Douche. Locked out right at the end. Sweetness. Come on, land in a good one. Eh. Okay. Okay. What we got here? Okay. Let's... Nice. I always like when that happens. So that power-up is really nice because now we have... Not only do we have the dotted line, but if we want to see, let's say we want to get it in the middle um, of these different things, I can see where it's going to go. Um, and if I bounce it off of something else, what's going to happen to it? So let's go, let's see what that happens there. Oh, hit more, hit more, hit more, hit more. No. All right, fine. Probably won't play too much longer because, like I said, there's not a whole lot more to it than that. But let's see, can I get it? There. If I hit there, it'll probably. Yeah! Got both of those up on top there. Alright. Okay, so we want to hit that one for sure. Can I hit it so that. Uh, it's not really going to do us a hell of a lot of good, but maybe it'll hit that one at the bottom of that ram. And the power-ups only do last so long, so... Okay, we're down to seven. And our meter is getting pretty high, but we have to get it up enough to where it'll actually... Uh... <laughs> Got that one over on the left. Oh no, you're not supposed to go down the middle. Okay, I need you to bounce around in the oh geez. Not quite like that. I figured I thought it was gonna bounce over to the left a little bit more. Um Hit the go down in the middle there. Hit that. Uh, oh, was, why don't you hit that other one too? Hit it. There you go. Okay. Probably not going to get a perfect. So we've got that one for sure on the left to hit. Got the one in the middle. Oh, we got a few in the middle to hit. I wonder if I can bank it. Erg, that one up there is in the way. Well, let's get lonely one over here. Yoink! Hopefully it'll bounce. Uh oh. No! Okay. Well, I got a couple. Three left. Okay, nothing on the upper right. I'm more concerned in actually just passing the level. I'd love to get a perfect, but the way things are set up right now, probably not going to happen. Let's go like this, see if I can bank it off that one there. Ah, oh, wanted to go up and hit that other one up there. Now, two left. Can it be done? God, that one up there is in the freaking way. Blarg. Oh, yeah, not quite what I had in mind. Is that the only one I have left, though? Uh, let's see. What I sometimes will do... Where in the heck did my... Oh, my mouse cursor. Sometimes... That'll hit it. I love how it just zooms in. A little drum roll and everything. Boom! Middle one. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. 
All right, this one looks kind of interesting. So again, like I said, the the backgrounds, some of them can be a little bit detailed and it may be a little bit hard, especially if you're really color sensitive um, to pick out some of the pigs from some of the backgrounds. Uh, I mean, even I have trouble sometimes I'll overlook one or something, uh, especially one of the ones that I need, the pegs that I need to get to clear the stage. But um, overall, as long as I'm playing on a large enough screen, I really don't have a problem playing it. Okay, that's not what I expected to happen, but we'll run with it. Yeah, nice combo we got going there. Okay, although now we don't have that security net of most of that bottom there anymore. What if I were to, say, bounce it up there? Ah, didn't go quite as planned. I'll probably quit after the next stage or two, but... Hit it. No! Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. Well, I got that anyway. Um, boy. Yeah. Um, let's see, maybe if I, I want to get some of that middle area. Nice. That is acceptable. Oh, I thought you were going to bounce back and go into the middle again. That sucks. How about you go over there? No! Yeah, I mean, there's really not a whole lot else to say, really. Um, you get the power-ups, you kind of want to build that right meter all the way up to the top, or as close to it as you can. If you can get all of the pegs, you get a lot more points. But you do want to get, you know, the... You know, not the... just the, the purpley-blue ones there. Um, you want to get the... Shoot, I was hoping I got one free ball, but I also got five. Um, oh, can I hit it so that it Iffy. Oh, nice. In the bucket. Ugh. Well, let's... Damn it, I was hoping I could get that other one down there. Well... What are we down to? Four? No! Uh oh Three left. Well, let's... Two left. Gerg. Of course. And... And that can happen where, oh, okay, not the middle, but it can happen where you get the drum roll, drum roll and you're just off enough where it won't count. And it's like, oh, you just get, you feel so robbed at the end. Okay, what do we got here? Okay. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, but you know, like I said, there's not a, really a lot more to say. There's all kinds of creative puzzles, um, a lot, a lot more later on where you don't just have the pigs, but you have a lot more of those, um, 
you know, the more rectangular ones, but they're shaped in odd, you know, patterns, and there'll be ones where they're, um, you know, they're shaped as different, you know, like different actual shapes, like maybe it's a, like a face or like a heart or like, you know, whatever it happens to be, or some really crazy pattern. And if you figure out the right place to put the first ball or two, you can just get this sick chain that'll just go all the way around and all the way down, back and forth, back and forth, or around in circles or whatever. And um, it's a really satisfying feeling when you just get this epically long combo and clear, you know, over half the half the board with one ball. But that is just kind of a quick basic look at Peggle. Um, the, uh, the version I'm playing right now here is Peggle Deluxe. Again, if you get the orange box version, it comes with like a little portal themed one. If you, there's one called Peggle Knights, which is even more levels. It's available on Steam, Xbox Live Arcade, PSN. The DS has a ver the Nintendo DS has a version. Um, like I said, I'm not sure about PSP, but it wouldn't surprise me. But basically, it's available on pretty much any platform that you can imagine. To wrap it up, what I will say again is I would definitely recommend, unless you can, you know, unless you really don't have a trouble seeing with the contrast in these small pegs, uh, I would really recommend either the PC or the home console versions because the anything handheld, whether it's a tablet or a phone or a DS or something like that, these pegs can become really small. Uh, and so it's, you know, especially even if you can see them, just kind of lining things up correctly and, you know, trying to get a, get the high scores and things can be a little difficult. So if you do have low vision, I would definitely recommend playing some of the console or the PC versions of the game, at least to start out with until you get used to it, because I know I've actually played the Nintendo DS version, I actually got the, the, the DS version on, it was like really dirt cheap on sale one time, and yeah, while I can play it, it is actually a little bit hard. There are times where some of those pegs, especially when I'm down to the count, I've got one or two balls left, and it can be really kind of tricky to see some of those, so I do have a little bit of trouble with that. So just a little cautionary thing, but it is a very fun, very addicting little puzzle game. And that is Peggle, available on a lot of platform, modern platforms that you can imagine. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and until next time, I will talk to you guys again later.